Pfizer getting that final green light from the CDC overnight. Millions of doses are being shipped across the country for kids age 5 to 11. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky is standing by for us. But first, let's go to Whit Johnson at a children's hospital in Connecticut. Good morning, Whit. Hey, Michael, good morning to you. We're here at Connecticut Children's. You can see some of the first shots about to be administered. Those doses are going across the country, about 15 million of them right now for kids 5 to 11 years old. The administration acknowledges, though, that they won't kick into high gear until next week. But as you can see this morning, some kids are already rolling up their sleeves. Overnight, the first shots of the Pfizer vaccine for kids 5 to 11 going into arms in Connecticut. A line of children eagerly waiting for their turn. They were talking about going to school tomorrow and telling their friends that they got it. Um, so really kind of ready to get out there and uh, get protected. The dose is coming just moments after the CDC director gave the final green light, following an advisory panel's unanimous vote yesterday to recommend the shots. We have a total of 14 yeses, zero noes, and so the motion passes. Kids will get just a third of the adult dose amount. Early studies found the vaccine to be nearly 91% effective in preventing symptomatic illness in young children with only mild side effects like a sore arm, headaches, or fever and no cases of myocarditis, that rare heart inflammation seen in some young men. The panel also pointing to CDC modeling, which suggests that vaccinating children could reduce COVID transmission overall in the U.S. by 8% between now and next March, an estimated reduction of about 600,000 potential cases. Children are going to be able to get their lives back, be able to get back to school, back to in-person learning, back to be around their friends. And this is a huge win, not only for public health, but in terms of mental health as well. The federal government already shipping out millions of doses across the country. Right there, it's a thousand doses of the pediatric vaccine. This children's hospital in Columbus, Ohio, stocking their freezers, planning to administer shots today. With about 28 million children now eligible for the vaccine, some parents are eager to get their kids in line. We feel about as part of like being part of a community where it helping keeping everyone safe. But despite promising trial results, a recent poll shows 63% of parents either refuse to get their kids vaccinated or plan to wait. It's very concerning, uh, especially for five-year-olds, uh, especially elementary school. The immune system is definitely still developing. And once again, we're back here at Connecticut Children's. You can see some of the brave kiddos ready to go. Our friend John, 10 years old, is in the chair right now. You ready? Okay, thumbs up. We're going to be with John as he goes through this process. John says he's a football player, so he's not too worried about it. Here you go. And there it is. Nice and easy, John. You feel good? Thumbs up? All right, thumbs up from John. So the process continues here. And one more thing to note across the country, some of the major pharmacies and doctor's offices say that it might take a day or so just to get their websites updated before you can make an appointment. So you want to make sure you are patient and go ahead and plan ahead. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.